Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are making it so our NPC chases us instead of a target part. So you can see we are moving around the scene and the NPC is chasing us around. So that is what we are doing today. So let's just jump right in. So go to your NPC pathfinding script and you can just delete this line right here for the local destination. We are also going to rename this move to target. We're going to rename it to be follow player. Uh, the best way I've found to do this is just to use this replace tool. So we want to replace move to target with follow player. And then I'm going to click replace all for the target position. We're going to change it to be target position. We are going to change it to be player root part. So replace all. And inside of this follow player, we need a while loop because this is something we're going to need to calculate. We're going to need to recalculate the path constantly. So we need a while loop for that. So let's put a comment that says recalculate the path every 0 0.1 seconds. We will say while true do. So now we want to cut and paste everything inside of this while loop. Let's get rid of this else note path found. Then inside of this for loop, after we move the NPC, we need to say if humanoid root part dot position minus the player root part dot position dot magnitude is less than two then we want to break and before we break we want to stop our walk animation then after one, two, three ends, we will say wait 0 0.1. And this recalculates the path every 0 0.5, I'm sorry, 0 0.1 seconds. Then after this function, we need to add another function for finding the nearest player. So we're going to make it so it'll just uh, sort through all of the players in the game and it'll just find the closest one and then it'll chase that one. So we need to get all of our players first. So we'll say local players equals game dot players colon get players. Let's make a reference for our nearest player equals nil. And local shortest distance equals math dot huge. And we need to find the nearest player based on distance. And to do that, we're going to use a for loop. And we need to get a reference to the player's character. So we will say local character equals player dot character. Let's just get rid of this line. It's bugging me. I'm not sure why there is an error under 
players. Oh wait, it's because this needs to be players, not player. So now we will say if character and character colon wait for child humanoid root part. So if it's a character and that character has a humanoid root part, then we need to cache a distance. Character humanoid root part dot position. Magnitude. Then we will say if distance is less than shortest distance, then shortest distance equals distance and nearest player equals character. And then right before the last end statement of this function, we just want to return nearest player. And now we want to constantly chase the nearest player. And we will say while true do, then we need a reference to the nearest player equals the function we just made for finding the nearest player. And if a nearest player is found, it's not nil, then follow player and nearest, pass in the nearest player, wait for child, humanoid, root part. Then we just need to wait 0 0.1. Check again every 0 0.1 seconds for player updates and that should do it if we hit play we will see the NPC is chasing us but if you notice he's chasing where we used to be and not where we currently are at the moment if I were to not be moving we wouldn't really be able to tell he would just be coming uh, right at us since we're not moving but once we start moving he goes to our previous position we can make it to where he always comes to our current position by simply going to where the move to and to move to finished are. And we can comment out the move to finish uh, weight. And I'll put a comment here, uncomment to make NPC move to outdated positions. And now if we hit play, see he's, he's coming to our current position, but he's kind of just restarting his walk animation every time, or like every half second or so. Let's see what we can do about that. Let's just bump this up to 0 0.5. That's pretty good. And yeah, that works pretty good. So we are just gonna leave that on 0 0.5. And yeah, we've got our NPC now chasing our player. And in the next video, we are going to make it, I don't know what we're gonna do in the next video. I think we're gonna make it so the NPC will attack us. So stay tuned and thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.